Hello, this is Janet Michael. In addition to hosting The Valley today each weekday at noon on the River 95.3, I also produce podcasts, and I'm excited to introduce you to a new podcast series in partnership with Lord Fairfax Community College. Having provided higher education and career training for the past half century, LFCC is tightly interwoven into the fabric of the Northern Shenandoah Valley and Piedmont regions. Join me every week for conversations with current and former students to hear their funny and inspiring stories as we learn about their journey to higher education, the role that LFCC has played, where they are now, and where they plan to go. We'll also talk to current and former professors about their experiences and best memories of LFCC over the past 50 years. Get every single episode as they're released on our website at theriver953.com under the podcast tab, or you can subscribe for free in Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, on Spotify, Amazon Music, wherever you listen to podcasts. Just search for LFCC Stories. Hello and welcome to the Valley Today. I am your host, Janet Michael. Happy Wednesday. As you are listening to the show today, it is the Valley Business Today and it is an extra Wednesday. That means I get to spend some time on the Zoom screen pre-recording with Sally Michaels from the Frederick County Economic Development Authority. How are you doing, Sally? I'm super. I love doing the extra Wednesday because we get to be, you know, extra magic, extra love. I know the only downside is it's only, it only happens like four times a year. I know, but um, you don't want me any more than that. I don't know that <laughs> I don't you can handle all of that. I'm fairly certain based on what I know we're going to talk about today, there may be a couple of extra shows that get sprinkled in over the next couple of months because you guys have a lot of stuff going on and there's a lot of big things that are happening. Yes, we've got a pretty full calendar. We're busy, busy right now planning for the fall. Three returning events, Worlds of Work, the WOW, the Employer Expo, and then all of October will be a celebration of manufacturing. We kicked that off on National Manufacturing Day. So busy, busy fall getting back to normal. Well, and it's funny because Manufacturing Day is a day, but then you guys made it a week and now you're making it an entire month because, you know, you got nothing else going on. (laughs) Yeah, well, you know, it just takes that long to celebrate fully. No, though, there there was a good reason, some good suggestions in spreading that out, which I can maybe get into a little bit of that when we talk about the Manufacturing Week slash month, whatever we're going to call it now. Open (laughs) to suggestions. Tell me about WOW, because there's a big change coming to it. The grade is changing. Yeah. So typically last five years, it was seventh graders. We did that for a reason. The General Assembly said seventh graders have to have a career path picked out, start working on classes in middle school and high school. And so this checked that box. They could get out and do some hands-on exploration. However, if anybody you know, was unaware last year we had the crazy COVID. And so we didn't get to do our events and our seventh graders lost out, but they actually will not lose out because we're changing it to eighth grade. So anybody that was in seventh grade last year that would have missed the worlds of work will now make it September 10th. They will be going on their big, big field trip to the worlds of work. It's going to be held back at the Shando University Wilkins Event Center. It was there for the first time, not last year. We're just going to pretend last year was a vortex and say last year, even though we really mean 2019. How did it work? Awesome. We had a lot of kids at one time, (laughs) but we had a lot of room. Shando was a great partner as far as getting the floor prepped. It's a basketball court inside. So they have to put up carpet and make it look pretty and protect it um, (laughs) so that we can bring in big things and equipment like ovens and animals and vehicles. So they were great in that regard. And they let us, you know, set up and, you know, obviously spend the whole day there for the event and then do the cleanup. So great partners at Shenandoah University. We're coming back there. Might be a little bit different. We got some feedback from our teachers and we're always getting feedback when we do these events. We do surveys for the students, surveys for the teachers, surveys for the businesses who are there as an exhibitor. We feel like we've got it pretty well buttoned up, but there's always something. Last year was really hot. Well, 2019 was hot. And one of the uh, department heads was there volunteering for the day. And she's like, you know what you need to do? 
you need to have the kids start outside. That way, when they start outside and it's a shorter amount of time, they go inside to cool off and Good they're not idea. outside sweating before they get on the bus, which is not pleasant for anyone at the middle school age. <laughs> So Shenandoah, eighth grade, the same groups are coming back. Our, our employers, they, they just love to be a part of this. And, you know, this all started years and years ago with the planning, just in relationships with the businesses in the community, starting Frederick and Winchester, opening up to Clark, Shenandoah Warren, just hearing that they want to be involved in certain ways and getting them involved with the schools and our students need to be able to hear these messages. So they do one or they do all, they pick what fits with where they're headed, but the majority of the wow businesses are repeats. They do return. So for somebody who might be listening and maybe they just moved here and they have no idea what wow is, can you give me kind of the cliff notes version of what happens that day and why it's important? Sure. Crazy happens that day. We <laughs> unleash 3,000 students, not all at one time. There's a little bit of logistics involved. However, they come in with their school. So we have all Warren County coming, then Skyline's coming. Then we've got Shenandoah County, three different schools unloading there. Frederick County, Clark County, 3,000 students descending upon the outside zone where we've got massive diggers and pavers and electric company trucks. The fire department always has their hose and the kids love that. bb and brought their bank bus last couple of years and the kids love that. It simulates, you know, an actual account. So they descend upon the outside zone and they are unleashed into the inside zone. And when I say unleashed, that is the proper word because we have them contained and so they are free to roam because the idea is for them to explore. Now we offer 10 worlds and we realize that they're going to like some worlds more than others, but they're also going to have the opportunity to see something they probably didn't know existed. And so we want them to play, to get dirty, to dig in and figure out what these activities are. The businesses come up with an age appropriate activity that would simulate a job or a different types of jobs that they have. Something as simple as the electric company putting on one of those giant bulky gloves that goes to your elbow and trying to pick things up. It sounds so simple, <laughs> but the kids think it's great fun. And then you go on to explain that, you know, you're tying, you're tying wire with this. You got you, how can you do that? So the kids come in, they get to see stuff they probably have never seen. They probably don't know what mom and dad do. And so hopefully there's some exposure to things that they didn't think of before. Like I mentioned before, it checks a box for the Department of Education that, you know, the middle schoolers are getting this exposure and now they're picking classes. Do I, do I really want to go in this direction? Do I take more sciences? Do I take more math? Do I need a language? And then, you know, for the volunteers, I think it come from all over. I will tell you now, I never have enough volunteers. It could be 40 volunteers, 60 volunteers. We never have enough with that many kids <laughs> and it's hurting kittens with that many students roaming. And let's say your one job is I open and close the door and put the doorstop in. These middle school kids are big. They're bigger than you. And they are coming at you in mass. And so it's important to stick to your job. Anybody can register to be a volunteer that day. That's different than being an exhibitor. If you're going with your business, fantastic. Stacy Barrett, our exhibitor chair says, we want studs not duds. Yes. You have to be able to speak to children. Yes. And th there's that energy and the light in their eyes. I mean, they're really inquisitive. And so someone that's able to engage. When we did it a few years ago, Dylan Nichols was our news director at the time. And Dylan came up with this idea. He had, uh, what was the name? Quincy, the quiet box. Do you remember? I and he remember. created this little quiet box and the kids came through and got to do their own newscast. Because kids would walk up to the radio station booth and I would say, so what kind of jobs do you think are available at a radio station? And all of them almost without fail would say, well, you have to be a DJ on the radio. They had no idea that there was news and there was podcasts and there was sales and there were sports and there were all of these other things. And they loved being able to record this newscast. And we even played a few of them, I think, uh, in the days following WOW on the air for them to be able to hear themselves actually on the radio. So interactivity is a big part of this because these kids want to feel like they're connected so that they can realize, is this something I want to do when I grow up? 
and, and it's just a little spark that you're lighting. They did love Quincy the Quiet Box because I got the feedback from those students. And when Dylan gave them an actual news event to cover, I mean, you could do the weather. There's all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. They feel like they're actually doing it in one take and whoops, what if I do something live? You know, there's no, there's no editing. That was a great, that's a great example. Yeah, I miss, I miss Dilly, just so you know, update for the listeners and, and for you, he is heading off to Oregon to begin law school. Wow. Right. (laughs) Gary. Yeah, I I am. I am pretty impressed. I am very, if he had to go, I'm glad he was picking something higher up there. Oh my gosh. (laughs) If he listens, Hey Dylan, you know, one thing I hear feedback on, there's several needs that we have. Lawyer is one of them. There you go. It's not something, we don't want to pay the hourly rate. We want you to volunteer. (laughs) Come, but judges and lawyers are a need. Our students want to understand really what, what do you do? We see it on TV, but what is it really Is what you do really like what I see on Law & Order that my mom watches all the time. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Um, So that, that's perfect. If he wants to come back or if there's any listeners, Shenandoah County, Page County, Clark, Frederick, Winchester, Warren will take you. I am willing to have our business exhibitors, lawyers, share a time slot. You don't have to be there. The event is six hours. It's four hours of like deploying buses, just move them, move them, move them. But when you break it up, could you give us two hours? Would you be willing to answer questions and, and do an activity so that you could simulate the types of work that you might do? So can I go through that list real quick? Judges yes. and lawyers, veterinarians, not just our domestic pets. Please nothing slithery. I, I freak out. But vets and then large animals, when Kitty Hockman brings all her goats and cows and sheep, it's a huge hit. The kids love it. Oh, I loved it. They're doing math to figure out how much food does the animal get per the animal's weight. Other things that we need, delivery. Think about U.S. Postal Service or FedEx or UPS. What could we do there to show that type of business? Definitely communication. You're one of three in the communication world. (laughs) And so what else could we do to show our students the careers within the communication world? So for your listeners, veterinarians, judges, lawyers, communication world, delivery, FedEx, USPS, UPS, those are the big needs. I feel like we've got the others covered. I'm never going to turn somebody away. Right. And you could never have, like I say, we need vets. If five vets sign up on explorethewild.com and they register. Yes, I'm going to be there. That's not too many. Right. (laughs) Because again, there's 3000 kids. I mean, you're not going to have too many. It could be a different type of an activity, but I'd never want to have, you know, to turn a kid away or they couldn't get to a table. Or what they think they want to do wasn't represented. So now they think it's not an option. You never want to take that spark away from them. Oh, no. No. And, and the feedback we get, they say it's the best field trip ever. I was recently down at um, Blue Ridge Tech and there were 10th graders working in an electrical class. I'm like, hey, you guys happen to remember that field trip you did? would have been over at the um, Sportsplex. I was like seventh grade. They're like, oh yeah, yeah. That was the best field trip ever. I just remember going to all these tables. I touched some really gross stuff. I climbed in big trucks. So they remember it. They may not remember a specific job and that's okay, but did it knock something loose in their brain? Now, you know, they're starting to put it together that, Hmm, I could, I kind of have the aptitude for that. I like that. So it's explore the wow.com. Explore the wow.com. And we have separate little tabs, exhibitor seal to click on that. If you want to be a business there with your activity, volunteer, We also have sponsorship, so you can pledge to donate anything. We do have several sponsors that return year after year, and we do have the levels, and I will share that with you so that you can post it. Let's take a break. When we come back, can we talk about manufacturing day, week, month, whatever it is you're going to call it, and the employer expo? Yes. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to continue our conversation for the Valley Business today. Sally Michaels is pre-recording with me from the Frederick County EDA. We're going to talk more about the manufacturing week when we come back along with the Employer Expo. Both of those happen in October. So hang in there. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Got a financial decision to make or a goal to reach, but you don't know where to start? You come to the right place. 
Introducing Quick Money Chats with the Northern Shenandoah Valley Financial Education Program. Visit tinyurl.com backslash quickmoneychat to schedule a virtual chat with a staff member or trained volunteer. We won't tell you what to do, but we will give you the tools you need to choose wisely. And because Virginia Cooperative Extension is part of Virginia Tech and Virginia State, your land-grant universities, you can be sure that our information is credible and trustworthy. And you'll know that we aren't trying to sell you something. Maybe you want to improve your credit score or reduce your banking overdraft fees or even figure out if you can afford to buy that car. Sorting through tons of information on the internet can be overwhelming and sometimes it can be hard to know who to trust. Schedule a quick money chat and get the information you need to take action. Go to tinyurl.com backslash quick money chat and get financial education personalized for you. Welcome back to the Valley today. I am your host, Janet Michael. Happy Wednesday. As you are listening to the show today, it is the Valley business today. We are pre-recording with Sally Michaels from the Frederick County EDA. In the first segment, we talked about the Worlds of Work, the WOW Expo happening on September 10th. It's eighth grade this year. ExploreTheWOW.com is where you go to get all of the information to be an exhibitor, to be a volunteer, to be a sponsor. So Sally, manufacturing day slash week slash month it's it's all happening in october right right so virginia manufacturing association has been celebrating national manufacturing day for years we found out about it said we totally need to do this we've got a lot of manufacturing here major jobs that people don't know about and so i thought we were being cute by having manufacturing week like shark week you always know it's coming in july i don't know what we're going to call it now it's going to be like a month-long celebration it makes sense though i'll tell you why It involves student tours, open door tours. So a business opens up on a Saturday for a couple hours and says, okay, public, come on in. You want to see how we operate. We do an industry breakfast. There's always a topic for our plant managers, our owners, our operations managers. We do social media posts. There's always the facts. I think I remember sharing with you about iPhones that are taken apart by the the robots and Mm -hmm. You know, the inventor of the first brassiere, women, 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 dishwasher inventor. So that kind of fun stuff and videos. We wanted to start a gallery. So years ago, we started building on a video gallery and it highlights the businesses here, the companies that are here. A lot of people don't know who we have here and what's their operation. Who's their customer? What's their product? And these are the kinds of jobs. So it made sense. I got a little feedback this last time around from Cynthia Schneider. So she's the chamber up here, Winchester Frederick Clark, Mm -hmm. used to be food source. And she's like, I wonder, is it a timing thing? Think about all of your production managers are there in the wee hours of the morning. Everything is set up the night before, but what if something goes wrong and then they can't break away? I'm like, oh my gosh, you're right. And then if we're trying to do like a happy hour and, you know, a lunch and everything else, it's too much in a week. They can't possibly break away. I mean, it's. I try to catch them before they get stuck going in because that's the best time. <laughs> Once you're in, you never escape. It's the Hotel California. I was like, oh my gosh, that's a, that's brilliant feedback. We, we need to take that and, and we'll just spread it out for the whole month so that we can get more participation. In addition, we want to celebrate all the manufacturing workers. I mean, think about all the commercials you've seen over the last crazy COVID year. You know, thank you. You're producing the can that the soda goes in. And by the way, you're putting it on a truck and moving it. Thank goodness you got that to me as I sit home in my sweats and Zoom, <laughs> right? So how can we celebrate the workers? We'll be looking at things like that. Some of the videos, so we do a combination. Caitlin Squires over at the city has been doing our videos, done an amazing job. We just put up one for Winchester Equipment and Jim Sullivan, ex-military. He's been doing like maintenance mechanic all his life. He delivered it in one take so easily. He's so relatable just talking about what, why do I want to do this? You know, how do I get started with this? Why do I want to work with my hands? Where can I go? So Winchester equipment is one of our new ones. Obviously we've got Barrett machine up there. We did MTV solar, solar panels, loves effect jewelry and m plastic. So these are the folks that already have their own videos, but they were nice enough to let us post them. Again, it's a peek inside. Sometimes you drive by on 81 and you don't know what that building is. m Plastics, Berry Plastics. We've got Monoflow. So if you ever think about McDonald's and the buns, 
that go on the plastic trays, the collapsible trays, or go behind CVS and they've got like the plastic bins that collapse, that's Monoflow. 84 Lumber, same thing. Metromont, used to be Shockey Precast. Great videos on we're building a parking deck and, and this is what goes into it. I like to tour these places and I still have no idea. So we've got a pretty extended video library. Again, Caitlin will put together anything that hasn't already been made. If you are a company and you want to share what you're doing, American Woodmark last year was part of National Manufacturing Day and they went live on National Manufacturing Day with Virginia Manufacturing Association to walk like you're walking through the plant, take a tour through the plant. Nice. So they gave us permission to post that. So we'd love to add video. Again, it's about your operation. You know, what, who is your customer? What is your product? Really, we have to relate it to the community. Oh, did you know we make Sprite and Coke bottles here? Did you know that Mio was created here, by the way? <laughs> the paper stickers that go on Formula 44, but things like that. The designs on the back of the Pop-Tarts. <laughs> You remember that every time. Every time I that's remember. Ashworth that. Brothers, that's right. It's Pop-Tarts and Ritz crackers. And they yes. they bring that to wow so that they can show the middle schoolers to flip that over. By the way, we create that. And you see the spool of what looks like this wire? That's what it's made from. But it's a whole, it's amazing. So you can really geek out looking at those videos. You can find all of those at manufacturing week and you get there by going to the workforce initiative.com pretty much anything we're talking about can be found at the workforce initiative.com even when you go into partners and look at you know try to find wow you'll find it all there you've got clark frederick winchester shenandoah warren all of us working towards a skilled workforce it's Folks that have been out of high school a while, looking for something, want a job change. It is K-12 too, but it's you and me, the natives that don't realize what's in these industrial parks when we drive by. Or that it's not the same as it was. You and I've had this conversation before too. My dad worked at Crown Cork and Seal in the late 60s, early 70s when I was born. And it doesn't look anything at all now like it did probably when he worked there. Right. That's right. And, and there is automated. There are robotics, which changes what the workforce looks like. Instead of having people stack something, now you've got people that are programming, fixing, troubleshooting these robots. So, so let's talk about that for a second from the people perspective. What are the details for the employer expo? Workforce initiative is always working towards the skilled workforce. And in that vein, the employer expo was born because we were trying to do many things at once. We definitely wanted to open to the public. We wanted our students to come and be comfortable coming there. It's an opportunity for the public to go face to face with hiring managers. I hear all the time, I can't get in front of anybody at Trex. I can't get in front of anybody at Renbay, Home Depot, whatever. Yeah, but you can't get in there unless you know somebody. Right, which is not true. They actually are probably pumping gas next to you or eating at the Cracker Barrel, but <laughs> this is the right time to do it. We've got it set up. It's for our businesses and we pull in a crowd. So you get that FaceTime. We're going to run it one to six on October 21st. It's a Thursday. We're going to have snacks. We're going to have workshops. We've done three workshops over the last three years. Professional etiquette. Like I wouldn't. That's need- a big one. Right now, cracking gum. And even those of us that think we have that handled have been at home for a year in our pajamas. A refresher course will never hurt. (laughs) That is true. So, you know, some of the folks that have attended in the past might say, I've done that class and that's fine because we're going to add other classes. So the three that are returning, professional etiquette, resume writing, and mock interviews. Mock interviews are done by Navy Federal Credit Union. That team comes in and I found out, I mean, the line is always out the door. People are crazy. I can't stand doing mock interviews, but it's great because if you've never been in front of a professional and you're trying to figure out, you know, how am I going to bring up this situation? Just very candidly offer you feedback. So they'll do a brief look at your resume. You're doing your mock interview. They also cover interviewing remotely. So a zoom interview, which Mm -hmm. is big in the new, in the new world. One that we're adding is going to be Zoom etiquette or remote meeting etiquette. Clear your background, no noise, don't eat a sandwich. So that'll be one of the new classes. I'll drink my coffee though, right? 
Because, you know, if you're going to tell me I can't drink my coffee on the Zoom, then I don't want to work for you anyway. <laughs> I think so. Provided that, you know, you don't have one of those mugs that has like the tan cleavage from the beach. No, but I do have one that has some words that probably would be offensive. Probably so that I'll, I'll not use that, that mug. <laughs> Thank you, Blake Beerpoint. I still have that, that coffee mug. <laughs> so you're going to be going to that workshop. <laughs> Um, but you're right. I mean, we do Zooms all the time now. What are some things? You know, I'm looking behind me going, oh, maybe I should have closed that door. <laughs> and I know your viewers can't see it. It's just you and I, but those are things that you need to be aware of. Getting getting the link ready ahead of time, making sure that you've downloaded the app. So that, that's going to be added. The other one that we're adding is how to fill out online job applications because some of these, and Regular Joe Blow doesn't know this. I only found this out from working here and talking to our businesses. Yes, you can still have a resume, but their corporate requires an online job application. Mm -hmm. If you miss a field, any field, like say my middle name, I skipped that field or I misspell something, boom, it knocks you out. So that'll be an additional class that we're adding. You might not want to turn in a resume or need to, you know, for the job that you're applying for. So we're going to go over the how to's of the, the online job application. Give me the umbrella website before we wrap up. Oh, are we already done? I could talk yeah. forever. We are done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The workforce initiative.com. You will find information pretty much on all of our programs. The three that we talked about today were employer expo happening October 21st manufacturing week now month <laughs> that will be all of October kicking off on October 1st and then we refreshed on wow the worlds of work on September 10th uh, that, that's going to be September 10th yes thank you <laughs> late in the day <laughs> thank you Sally for coming to hang out with me it's always fun and I always learn something and I always like being able to talk about the pop tarts <laughs> that's that is your cocktail dinner uh, totally. Event, that's that's your thing. Mine is I used to take bodies to the morgue. I don't think people find that as fun. All right. But so if you, if you want to know more about that, you'll have to send a, a text direct and connect <laughs> to the station at 6354121. If enough people text me, you and I will record a quick little podcast and you can tell that story in the podcast. Maybe, but wait, you bring up podcasts. That's why I said you gotta we, we get more time, right? Than what's on the hour. <laughs> so we're thinking podcast for manufacturing week a series oh girl now you're talking my language i know i know but it's more it's like accessible it's also the younger generation they can get to this so more to come on that but we feel like we definitely could market that better awesome so the workforceinitiative.com start there and it'll take you everywhere you need to go yeah you should look over that site when you did an amazing job it's beautiful I will be back tomorrow. We are chatting with the Adult Care Center and they've got a really cool auction fundraiser going on. So meet me back here tomorrow, a few minutes afternoon. We'll have details for all of that then.